Yo guys, what the hell is going on? You're watching CSS for Beginners Lesson 40 and in this video we're going to talk all about borders. That's coming up. <laughs> Alright, so here I am back in the code guys and the first thing you're going to notice is the fact that I've got all of these different rules here, all these different selectors. And they kind of correspond to these divs over here which all have a class of box but they all have one of these selectors, one of these classes associated with them too. Okay, so I'll talk about these in a minute but to begin with I just want to briefly talk about what the border property is and how we use the shorthand and longhand notation to control it. So first of all the border is part of the box model. Okay, it's uh, the kind of perimeter of the element just outside of the padding but before the margin and we can specify three values for it and that is the width the style and the color. Now the width obviously controls how wide uh, or how thick the border is. The, uh, the style controls whether it's dotted or dashed and you'll notice that that corresponds to these here. And the color quite clearly specifies the color. So to go over the longhand way of doing this first of all, the way we control it is by first of all writing border and then we choose a side, so top. So we do dash top and then dash one of the values that are talked about and we'll start off with width that's the first one and we'll say 10 pixels okay so we're saying here guys that we want the border top width to be 10 pixels now the second value was border top style and there are many different styles you can see here a multitude of different keywords we can choose all of which correspond to one of these classes here so I'll go through these in a second I'm just going to choose solid for now because that's the most common one that's just a solid thick line and then the third property is border dash top dash color. And we just control the color here. Let's just say blue. So that there, my friends, is a full border top property using three different properties, border top width, border top style, border top color. And it's giving it these three values here. Now, that's pretty long winded. Yeah, we'd have to do this in total 12 times if we had all four sides styled like this. OK, so that's not a great way to do it. However, we can say border top and then we can specify all of the three values within this one property so the first I said was thickness which was 10 pixels then was the style which was solid and then finally it was the color which was blue so that is exactly the same as writing all three out separately right first is thickness second is style and the third is the color but there's a quicker way say for example we wanted to style all sides not just the top we just write border and then we do exactly the same 10 pixels for the thickness um, solid for the style and blue for the color and that is the ultimate shorthand for the border property dead quick and it's going to apply the border to all sides with these three values okay so now we've seen that I'm going to delete it and we're going to go through the different border styles so same again we'll use the shorthand and we're going to just say one pixel for the uh, the width then we're going to say blue for the color and then we're going to say dashed for the style because that's one of the keywords here dashed in fact, I'll just show you these keywords. If I write border dash style, and it's a great way if you ever forget to see all of the different keywords here. Okay, that dashed one was the top. So we're gonna go through all of these different keywords. So we've done that one. Let's just copy and paste this, and then paste it in all of these, oops, down here like this. And then we'll just change the keywords to match up to the class. So that's dotted. This is double. And by the way, guys, I very rarely use all of these different border styles. Um, the ones I mainly use, oops, I spelled that wrong, what's going on? Groove, the ones I mainly use are solid, occasionally dashed, and occasionally dotted. Uh, it's good for things like surrounding voucher codes, as if it's like a, a cutting, something you know that you cut out. Um, but mainly, like I say, solid. So the here, if you want to use them, but uh, I very rarely do. Anyway, so we've done all these now. Solid. So we'll save that and save this. And we'll view this in a browser and see what they look like. Open with Chrome. All right, there we go, guys. The, uh, the first two here, dashed and dotted, they're perfectly fine. And the solid one, this is what a solid one looks like. However, the double groove inset and outset and ridge, they all look the same, don't they? And that's because they're all one pixel thick. Now, these are speciality borders and they require larger border widths to work properly. So I'm just going to go back into the code and let's change this to not that. We'll change double to four pixels. We'll change groove to four pixels. Inset to four. 
and you get the pattern. We're just going to change them all to four pixels, these properties. Okay, so let's view this once more in the browser. Open with Chrome. And now there you go, we can see the double one, but hang on, the groove is still not big enough. The inset is still not big enough. Outset and ridge is still not big enough. So what's going on? Well, let's just try increasing these even more. Let's just put the 14 inside. Save that again. And view in the browser one last time. All right, now we can start to see them. You see here, this groove is kind of like a groove, it's like a, a bevel almost around the board. It's very subtle, you might have to put your head, uh, your face right next to the uh, the screen to see it. The inset here is just these two lines that make it look like an inset. Outset is just basically sw uh, swapping these colors here. And the ridge is a little bit like the groove, but again, swapping the colors around. So very subtle differences between all of those. They're good for things like making picture frames, I suppose, online. But uh, you do need to have larger borders to kind of appreciate those. So that about covers it for the lesson on borders. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, like and share them. And I'll see you guys in the next one.